Tonight, the New York Post is reporting that alleged victims of Diddy have been talking a lot. And we're hearing a lot of people in Diddy's orbit, names you know. If I knew things were going to come after this. I knew that there were going to be other people that were going to follow in line or people that he had past relationships with. The puff was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to right. get stout. Then he was like, yo, he was like, yo, so yo, when we going to get the chance to, you know, to like we could just hang out. So it looks like Diddy is getting caught up in more and more trouble. This lawsuit is turning into a real headache for him, with new shocking details dropping every day. Now another person, Lil Rodney, who's supposedly another victim, has filed a lawsuit. And guess what? It involves 50 Cent's ex-girlfriend. Things are heating up, and word has it that 50 Cent is gearing up to have a serious talk with Diddy because he's worried about his ex. The scoop is hot, so let's get started without any further ado. That's why I'll be going to the puffy parties. Uh -huh. you for the in the back at the same time. It all began when a lawsuit was filed against Sean Diddy Combs by a male music producer claiming S.A. And now it is bringing more attention to the allegations against the troubled music mogul and his ties to a former girlfriend of another rapper. According to documents obtained by Fox News Digital, Rodney Lil Rod Jones Jr., a producer on Combs' recent album, The Love Album, Off the Grid, alleges that the Bad Boy Records founder boasted about financially supporting several women. I mean, billionaire, all the hits, He's mentoring everybody in the business. But there's some sinister things happening under the surface, according to this lawsuit. According to Fox News, one of the women mentioned in the suit is Daphne Joy Cervantes Narvaez, better known as Daphne Joy, who happens to be the ex-girlfriend of Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Jones claims that these women, including Joy, were receiving a monthly payment to engage in S activities with Mr. Combs. Interestingly, Diddy follows Joy on Instagram, and there have been photos of them together in Miami Beach in 2021. In his lawsuit filing, he claimed that Daphne Joy and Young Miami were being paid a month allowance to be uh, Diddy workers. However, according to reports, Daphne has vehemently denied these allegations. I'm really hurt by the false accusations in Rodney Jones' lawsuit. Saying that I'm involved in S work is completely untrue and damaging to my character, Joy stated in a post on Instagram. I'm getting a lawyer to look into all legal options against both Rodney and his lawyer. Talking about their relationship, Joy and 50 Cent were in a relationship back in 2011 and welcomed their son, Sire, in 2012. However, things turned sour the following year when the rapper faced domestic <laughs> vandalism charges involving Joy. Allegedly, he was accused of kicking her and damaging her property. This incident led to 50 Cent pleading not guilty. Eventually, he was sentenced to three years of probation, 30 days of community service, and had to pay restitution and fines. 50 Cent is now being accused of <laughs> and a <laughs> and a <laughs> and a <laughs> by Daphne Joy. So Daphne accused him of all of that on Instagram. Jones updated his lawsuit on March 25th after originally filing it in New York's federal court in February. Interestingly, this came shortly after Diddy settled a separate lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend Cassie, who accused him of R. When Jones initially filed the lawsuit, Combs' lawyer was quick to dismiss the claims, calling them pure fiction, in a statement shared with Fox News Digital. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines, attorney Sean Hawley said. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. In the midst of Diddy's legal Legal troubles, 50 Cent, who hasn't been shy about criticizing the bad boy founder, seemed to address the allegations involving Joy. He took to Instagram saying, I didn't know you was a S worker, you little S worker. LOL yo this S is a movie. So let's talk about this movie. The producer behind Diddy's latest album, the love album Off the Grid, isn't holding back. He's hitting him with a whopping $30 million lawsuit. Lil Rod, a.k.a. Rodney Jones Jr., spilled all the details in a federal court complaint filed in New York. He's accusing Diddy of being overbearing and pushy, forcing him into sketchy situations with escorts and subjecting him to unwanted touching. According to Lil Rod, Diddy's world is a wild ride of money, 
power moves and shady dealings. He's even suggesting there might be some messed up rituals going on, along with humiliation and being shortchanged over 50 grand for his work on the album, which dropped on September 15th, 2023. It seems like Diddy just can't catch a break from these legal storms. The new allegations against John Diddy Combs, a music producer, is accusing hip hop mogul of him and forcing him to have Jones isn't messing around with this lawsuit. It's a hefty 70 pages packed with some wild claims. Apparently, Combs was allegedly pressuring him into accepting some messed up relationship dynamic, which they claim is unfortunately common in the music industry. Represented by attorney Tyrone Blackburn, Jones is also dropping a bombshell about a RICO enterprise that allegedly turned a blind eye to Combs, failing to warn or supervise him. This supposed conspiracy involves heavy hitters in the music world, including Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange, former Motown CEO Ethiopia Habtamarium, Diddy, his right-hand Christine Christina Corum, and even Diddy's 30-year-old son Justin, all of them named as defendants in this insane lawsuit. The drama in the industry just keeps escalating. A lawyer for Combs called the events described in the lawsuit pure fiction. This is now one of several lawsuits filed against Combs in recent months. During the year and change that Jones was collaborating with Combs on the Love album, things apparently took a wild turn. While he got to meet some of Diddy's famous pals, not all of the encounters were pleasant. One time, he bumped into Cuba Gooding Jr., who's faced misconduct accusations before. Jones claims the Oscar winner got handsy, touching, groping, and fondling his legs, thighs, back, and shoulders. When asked about these serious allegations and the claims against Combs, attorney Sean Hawley didn't hold back, stating that Lil Rod is simply a liar looking for a big payday with his $30 million lawsuit. Holly, a partner at Kinsella Holly Iser Kump Stein Sapir LLP, added, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Justin Combs was even more unequivocal in his and his father's defense. A spokesperson stated to Deadline, Justin Combs categorically denies these absurd allegations. They are all lies. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday. There will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. This new accusation adds to the four previous lawsuits already on Combs' plate, including one from his ex-girlfriend Cassandra Ventura, filed late last year. The one with Ventura apparently got sorted out real quick, with a hefty but hush-hush sum changing hands just 24 hours after it was filed in New York last November. Combs isn't mincing words, calling out everyone for chasing a payday. And as if that's not enough, more accusations keep rolling in. From S.A. claims to allegations of involvement in a gang situation back in 2003 with an 11th grader. Diddy's definitely caught up in a legal storm, with no sign of it letting up anytime soon. These revelations came amid Cassie's lawsuit. Filed in 2013, it alleges that Diddy orchestrated freak-off events, causing substantial damages to the hotel amounting to tens of thousands of dollars. The legal document claims Cassie was tasked with arranging venues and hiring men for these gatherings, often using websites and escort services. It's alleged that Diddy insisted on these encounters weekly, referring to them as our thing, and stressing the need for secrecy. Oh, wanted, but Cassie who searched for the big black, and she was searching for the big black Cassie asserted that the alleged freak-offs frequently occurred in hotel suites, with venues ranging from the Trump International Hotel in Columbus Circle to L'Hermitage Beverly Hills, the London Hotel in Los Angeles, and various intercontinental hotels across the country. According to her claims, Diddy's assistants were purportedly involved in facilitating these events by supplying items such as baby oil and lubricant. The lawsuit states, Mr. Combs always supplied Miss Ventura and the S-worker with copious amounts of before and during the freak offs. Miss Ventura was given ecstasy co <laughs> in excessive amounts during freak offs, which allowed her to disassociate during these horrific encounters. It became commonplace to get IV fluids in the days after a freak off to recover from the excessive substances pushed upon her. She claimed Diddy would ask her to pour excessive amounts of oil over herself before he instructed her and the S workers what to do. Mr. Combs would say things like, grab that big black D and ask her how does it feel, as he directed her to perform for him, the lawsuit states. Diddy allegedly used his phone, laptop, and tablet
tablet to film the freak-offs, treating it like a personal art project and adjusting the lighting. In a recent interview, Gene Deal revealed that Diddy has a preference for individuals with BBCs. According to him, Cassie claimed that Diddy had coerced her into scouring the internet for male specifically those endowed with BBCs, for their intimate encounters. These salacious details hint at a darker side of the music mogul, shrouded in secrecy and hidden desires. I heard get smashed by BBCs. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting banged by? Speculation filled the air as Jean probed deeper, suggesting that perhaps Cassie wasn't the sole participant in these illicit activities. The question lingers, was Diddy, a man of immense influence and power, also engaging in these encounters with male prostitutes? This man had this woman search for online just for them to have the ambiguity of masquerade masks worn during these escapades added an extra layer of mystery, making it challenging for Cassie to identify those involved. Gene revealed that he used to wear masks so that no one could recognize him or accuse him, ultimately allowing him to enjoy the acts without any disturbance. Her, the male Diddy, they all masquerade mask. He didn't want her to know who they were. The discussion veered into murky territory as allegations of censorship and selective editing of the lawsuit's details before its public release surfaced. Gene hinted at a broader narrative, insinuating that crucial elements had been deliberately left out, leaving fans intrigued and wondering about the undisclosed aspects of the scandal. Echoes of industry secrets reverberated throughout the interview, delving into tales that had lingered for years. Reports of Diddy's alleged efforts to enlist other celebrities, such as Chris Brown and the members of B5, incomparable activities, painted a troubling picture of a music industry riddled with clandestine vices. There was story that he was trying to get Chris Brown. There's stories about, you know, uh, those, what's, what's those, those, uh, the lawsuit unveils a distressing pattern of violence and H that persisted until the relationship's culmination in 2018. In a statement to the Times, she expressed, After years shrouded in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and speak up on behalf of myself and other women who endure violence and H in their relationships. A spokesperson for Combs, known by various monikers such as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy and Love, vehemently refuted the allegations, deeming them offensive and outrageous. The representative asserted that these accusations surfaced following Ventura's alleged pursuit of a purported $30 million settlement from the mogul. And Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, are saying tonight that the two have settled a lawsuit she filed against the mogul yesterday in Manhattan federal court. The statement further stated, Miss Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. Ventura's legal representative Representative informed the New York Times that she had been offered eight figures to silence her and prevent the filing of this lawsuit, an offer she reportedly declined. However, in a recent court filing for the case involving the now adult Jane Doe, Combs made it clear that he's denying any involvement or awareness of misconduct, including anything related to the plaintiff. His response, backed by an 11-page document from attorney Sean Hawley and a legal squad, argues that the lawsuit goes against Combs' constitutional rights and should be kicked to the curb. But Jane Doe's lawyer, Doug Wigdor, wasn't having any of it. On February 20th, he shut down the attempt to dismiss the case, saying, The deeply troubling allegations against the defendants by multiple women speak for themselves. The ridiculous claim that the photos are somehow fake and the law at issue is unconstitutional are nothing more than desperate attempts to conjure a defense where none exists. Fans also believe that Diddy can do anything to save himself. One of them wrote, I don't think anyone who has never been AED could possibly understand how it feels feels to be AED, then be blindfolded, doped up or blacked out and not know who AED you. She could be standing right beside someone who took advantage of her and never know. Another one added, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Although Diddy has made himself look like a real sob, lawyers and judges will ask Cassie why did you wait five years before filing a lawsuit after the breakup with Diddy? Although it could all be true, why now? After five years, without some damn good receipts, it looks like a money grab. One more person added, he should have kept his mouth closed 
closed and never wrote that song about her. And he was still reaching out to her after she moved on. Whatever they had going on, only they know. But waiting all these years to speak up is mind-blowing. She allowed herself to go through that because she could have been left him. Every time she left, she came right back. Even when he was with Kim, she was there. She knows all his secrets, and he probably had plans to kill her too. Now, the weird thing which is bothering the public is that 50's ex-girlfriend's name was exposed right after Cassie settled the lawsuit, which definitely heated the situation for them. 50 and Daphne also shares a son, and now seems like 50 is getting for his son, which is also natural. 50 Cent is reportedly pursuing sole custody of his son, citing her purported involvement in a ST lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. Given the recent developments and Daphne Joy's alleged involvement in the Diddy lawsuit, 50 is seeking sole custody of his son, a source intimately connected to the situation informed Us Weekly. Initial confusion surrounded Lil Rod's lawsuit today. As the federal district court in Manhattan initially listed the action for $30 billion instead of the intended $30 million. This discrepancy led to Combs' attorney initially responding to the astronomical figure, causing quite a commotion. Fortunately, the error was rectified later in the evening, correcting the sum to $30 million, bringing relief to all parties involved. Adding a twist to the lawsuit, Young Miami has also been named. Lil Rod implicates Young Miami multiple times in the legal proceedings, alleging to have witnessed Diddy and Young Miami engaging in illicit activities together. Lil Rod claims that on Thanksgiving 2022, Young Miami's cousin spotted him at Diddy's Miami residence. In a surprising turn of events, it seems that in her attempt to distance herself from the situation and shift blame onto Diddy, Young Miami mistakenly mentioned Cuba Gooding's name. Cuba Gooding's narrative diverges from the typical celebrity storyline, as the Hollywood actor saw not only a decline in popularity, but also significant disruptions in his life outside the glitz realm of entertainment. It's worth noting that Gooding also played a role in his own downfall. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those moments in my life where I was trying to numb the pain. So I would, you know, just kind of go out and not worry about a thing, you know, and... Uh, the troubles for Cuba Gooding Jr. began in June 2019, when USA Today reported an investigation into an incident where he was accused of touching a woman inappropriately at a New York City bar while he was intoxicated. Subsequently, Gooding voluntarily went to the police and was arrested. When a woman alleges Gooding touched her inappropriately at a different nightclub, and another incident where he allegedly grabbed a woman at this bar in June. We believe... It's worth noting that Diddy is now facing similar allegations. Rappers like 50 Cent have openly criticized Puffy, especially regarding reported all-men parties he allegedly organized. These gatherings purportedly involved younger men, with Usher sharing his experiences at Flavor Camp during his early days in New York City while residing with Puff Daddy as a teenager. During an interview on The Howard Stern Show, Usher discussed the parties and festivities at Flavor Camp. While appearing on The Howard Stern Show, Usher briefly referenced his exposure to the lifestyle, but he steered clear of specific details. He hinted at the extravagant nature of these events and expressed uncertainty about fully participating and indulging in them. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. There have been persistent rumors circulating online. Some claim that Sean Diddy Combs may have given Usher Raymond a S-transmitted disease, STD, when he was just 15 years old. The source of these rumors is unclear, but some speculate that they may stem from Usher's admission that Diddy used to take him to wild parties when he was a young teen. And you're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and like non-stop, right? There is no credible evidence supporting the assertion that Diddy transmitted any S-transmitted diseases, STDs, to Usher or engaged in any S-contact with him. Usher has faced legal challenges with accusations of infecting partners with herpes, but he consistently denies these claims and often resolves cases through out-of-court settlements. Regarding the rumored relationship with Usher, Diddy has not publicly commented on the matter. Diddy himself has faced legal issues, including his involvement in a nightclub shooting in 1999 and an altercation with his son's football coach in 2015. Some evidence suggests that Diddy may have coerced Usher into participating in inappropriate activities or had an obsession with specific themes. A lawsuit by a young woman, a fan who met Usher at one of his shows, resulted in a court victory where it was proven that Usher knowingly transmitted an STD to her. In a video featuring P. Diddy, Usher, and Kevin Hart, Diddy seemingly reveals, possibly intentionally to embarrass Usher, that the two wake up in the 
the morning and playfully argue over cornflakes. While suggestive, the video does not provide concrete evidence of a romantic relationship between Diddy and Usher. Usher has faced allegations of spreading STDs, leading to a court order preventing him from doing so under the threat of jail time. Uh, he's responded to the lawsuit from the woman who claims that uh, they hooked up a couple of times this year and that she actually he gave her herpes yes. she says yeah not only men reportedly he is also involved in the tea of women and it was revealed when kim porter d moreover according to certain sources there are allegations circulating that diddy may have been involved in his wife kim porter's death the narrative surrounding kim porter's passing has taken a disturbing turn with kim's closest friend kimora lee simmons suggesting that the investigation into her best friend's unsolved death be reopened kimora lee simmons made it evident that she cannot continue living with the truth concealed, hinting that she may have access to concerning information about Kim's alleged Monsieur Kimora Lee rushed to Kim's house as soon as she heard the news, and the photos clearly depict her utter devastation. It was true, physically, but Kim got tired of it and she wasn't taking it. If he put his hands on her, she was going at him. The sight of her friend's lifeless body was so distressing that she couldn't help but wonder what could have possibly happened to Kim, especially considering there were no prior indications of her being ill. However, recent revelations have cast doubt on the initial narrative of Kim's death being attributed to pneumonia. The passing of the deputy coroner, who was overseeing the investigation just a few weeks ago, is the first red flag raising suspicions about the case. This particular coroner had reportedly discovered a potentially dangerous substance during the investigation into the circumstances surrounding Kim Porter's death, adding further intrigue to the situation. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove. The coroner at the time stated that the circumstances surrounding Kim's death required further investigation, but he was later replaced by another coroner, and it took that new coroner a huge amount of time to determine that the cause of Kim's death was pneumonia. This is where the story got shady because the new coroner never spoke about the toxins found in Kim's body. Was he hired by someone? And according to some reports in the last days, Kim and Diddy were not on good terms. So so this is how reports have circulated to Diddy's alleged involvement in such dark acts. One person on the internet wrote, About time, somebody took a serious look at Sean Combs' bad, illegal, and morally disgusting behavior. Just because somebody has a pile of money does not excuse them from U.S. law. Another one added, These allegations and horror stories about Diddy have been around since the 90s, but nobody was listening. He H-Men too. One more person wrote, I believe he absolutely did everything he's been accused of. With all the other things he's done with no consequences, he thinks he's above the law. Well, it seems like law also could not hold itself back, and all this massive criticism led the authorities to raid Diddy's house. Authorities conducted searches at homes owned by Sean Diddy Combs on Monday as part of a federal investigation. According to a senior federal law enforcement official briefed on the matter, Combs is a target in an investigation led by the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. The Department of Homeland Security Investigation's Transnational Organized Crime Division is spearheading the probe, which centers on HT crimes. For, but again, this could possibly be linked to a investigation involving rapper Sean Combs, the music exec. This investigation follows allegations similar to those raised in several civil lawsuits filed against Combs in New York. These lawsuits, including one filed in federal court in December, accuse Combs of SA and even ST. However, it's worth noting that Combs has consistently denied these allegations in the past. That led to her struggle with addiction for years. Combs' attorney calls the lawsuit absolutely baseless and vehemently denies the allegations. Heavily armed teams of Homeland Security Investigations, HSI agents, conducted searches at Sean Diddy Combs' residences in Los Angeles and the Miami area. According to the first source, some of these agents were even riding in armored vehicles. This precaution was taken because authorities suspected that Combs employed armed private security at each of his properties. At the time, so this is just a little bit ago as they, you can see, a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well, the long guns and a multitude of the agents were given authorization to search for various items, including documents, phones, computers, and other electronic devices that could contain data or videos, as per the second law enforcement source. A law enforcement source earlier told CNN that Monday's searches were related to an ongoing ST investigation. HSI in New York said Monday it executed law enforcement actions as part
part of an ongoing investigation in cooperation with local law enforcement and HSI units in Los Angeles and Miami and would provide further information as it becomes available. Combs representatives have not returned CNN's request for comment on the searches. Combs faces accusations of ST in three separate lawsuits filed recently, which he has consistently denied. The specific allegations under federal investigation remain unclear. Following this, at least two additional civil lawsuits were filed in New York against Combs, alleging SA. One of these lawsuits filed in federal court in December also included claims of SATE. I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy, Combs said in response to the December suit. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. 50 Cent has joined the chat. The rapper, known for hits like Inda Club, recently took to social media to criticize fellow rapper Sean Diddy Combs, with whom he has had a long-standing feud. Sharing a screenshot showing Sean's two sons, Justin and King Combs, being escorted out of his Los Angeles home in handcuffs, 50 Cent wrote, S just got real the feds in all the cribs, damn they got the kids in cuffs. In a second post which featured images of the feds outside of Sean's LA home, he pointed out, now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done they don't come like that unless they got a case. It seems that 50 Cent is seizing the opportunity to comment on the situation surrounding Diddy's recent headlines, likely adding fuel to their ongoing feud. The rapper known as Candy Shop, born Curtis Jackson, also posted a video created by a social media user dubbing Diddy as too freaky for society, with the caption, ran off and left the kids in the whole shit, yo he doing the race said F it. His latest criticism comes shortly after Homeland Security conducted raids on Sean's homes in California and Florida, which was enough for people to speculate that it is all coming after his ex-girlfriend's name has been given. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.